Hi everyone, it's Sir Patrick and welcome back to another adventure in the game Mechanics Quest. Fast travel is a pretty amazing mechanic that allows us to move around the map very efficient. And one of the many games that use this mechanic is Halo Knight. In Halo Knight, you just walk to a bell, ring the bell and the big stag will come. You ride it and you tell it where to go to any station around the world. And in this small episode, we're gonna code that small mechanic. So let's get started. First of all, to make this project a bit easier and a bit smaller, I didn't include any movement script or any interacting script, for example like hitting the bell, but all the interaction scripts or the movement script can be found in my recreation of the imposter video, I will link it down in the description. And now in any fast travel system, we have several components. One, the way to code the fast travel system, two, the fast travel point, and three, issuing a move when clicking on the fast travel point button. And also, of course, moving the player there, player there. So, to start this system, in our first component, it's simple. We just added a small button on the screen. When I click it, it calls the fast travel system. And in Halo Knight, it's triggered by ringing the bell and talking to the bug. So, to simplify it in Unity, I just added a simple plain old button. Next, a screen show up with every single point of travel and each one of them is represented by the stack station class and this class has two main variables the position of the destination of that point and the name of that station it's plain old and simple and if the stack station takes a player to another scene we can include here a stack station or the scene name to move to that current scene and now for the second component is the stack station manager here we have two main functions. First of one, that is called when pressing the button and it activates the fast travel system. The second one is called when I activate a point or a stack station in our case here and take us or order the player to move to that location. And all of that is translated in the UI by having a simple vertical layout and we just initiate and add button to each stack station. Each button have one listener that take us to the second function in the stack station manager which is go to station and we send the index or the name of the station it doesn't matter and in our case we use the index and all of that is done in the stack station ui manager so our system is pretty simple and to move the player we only have a player controller with a class called go to position and we just send to it the correct position or the next position and we move the player that's it and as we can see here unity it's working perfectly so the fast travel system is pretty simple we don't need any any complicated mechanics all we need is just a thing a button or an action to trigger or start the fast travel system next we need a way to select the point of the fast travel system and in our case we just represent them by a list of buttons third we need when i press the button we send the information of that travel system to the stack station manager and towards the player to move the game or to move the player to the next position and we need to focus here is to pause the player or close the game when the station or when the fast travel initiate and if you want the stack station or the fast travel to take us to another scene all we have to do here is pretty simple too i added some notes in the stack station manager we take the scene name from the stack station we load it in we wait until the scene is fully loaded, when the scene is fully loaded, we just put the position or just trigger the player to move them to the new position of the fast travel point. And you can find the whole project on my GitHub, the link in the description down below. And now in the end, if you have any question about this current project or have any, recommenda have any recommendations for mechanics to be coded in the next video, please make sure to add them in the comments below and join our kingdom over on discord to so just chat about game development or ask any question you like but now in the end of this small video don't forget to like share and subscribe see you all in another adventure